guys. Snafu33 doing a run on the infected, the conduit advanced. Running it with my little bug ship and uh, see what I can do. Well, I guess the best of person is too. Zoom over to the other side. Come on.
What was that? That Borg ship got me? Something on the gateway. Wow. Yeah. Gateway did some pretty heavy plasma damage to me. Alright, well, sorry guys. Sorry guys, got bombed a couple of times. <laughs> All right, so my bug ship still uh, can get uh, get stomped pretty easy in the. That's all right. So, anyways, in fact, the conduit advanced. Gonna go see what the damage is on that one. obviously not the best run. Like they say, one of the most important parts of the getting good DPS is knowing how to use your equipment and knowing how to fly your ship. So, uh, yeah. Might have got a D- minus on that? I don't know. Still fun. I think that's more important than anything else. But now they've geared the game so that you need to try and get, you know, you have you have to have DPS to get through the story arcs. You have to do damage to kill characters to uh, basically get through the missions. So, alright. Let's wait for that to parse. I did it and I just missed it? Oh, yep. Affected the conduit advanced. Okay. Update. Alright, so. Got second place. That's decent. Um, died three times, though. So, did some damage, but it's still kind of like the glass slipper thing where basically you do some damage, but you die a lot. So basically, I died more than anybody else in that whole run. I got the second most kills, so I'm still doing it. Percent crit is 31. That's really good. Accuracy, pretty good. So, overall, eh. For a T5U ship, eh, pretty good, I would say. Um, I like the little bug ship. I want to see... But look at the damage out that this guy did. Holy cow. Let's see what he's running real quick. This is not me. This is the uh, number one guy on this. Advanced Radiant Anti-Proton Array. So he's running a beam boat, basically, and did 186,000 DPS with that array. Nicely done. Interesting. Hypercharge, what the heck is that? Is that one weapon? I'm confused. Where did that thing go? So he got that, like on one hit or something like that. Advanced Radiant Anti-Proton Array. Huh, 
Alright, that one's... I'm a little confused on that one. Let's look at my stats. So let's basically see what I did for the DPS first. So the Neutronic Torpedo is basically doing the best. So basically that's what's a spread 3. That's what's getting my higher DPS, which I'm still working on it. Then the Neutronic without the spread got 61,000 DPS. Let's look at my damage. Basically, the Neutronic Torpedo put 1.6 million. The dual plasma cannons put out 1.5. So those two are pretty close. Then the corrosive plasma turret kinetic cutting beam did pretty good. So actually see these four are, are big chunks of the puzzle. Not of the DPS but basically of the total damage done. So that was okay. So total DPS yeah split up a bit so anyways interesting run so that's the uh, link if you wanna anybody wants to see it let me go back to STO oops gotta click the right button so anyways do a quick show of the stats like I normally do so this is the same bug ship I've been running for a while um, I did do a run on the Crystal Cataclysm Advanced. I posted that earlier. So my latest setup is running the Elite Fleet Deflector. Running the Nukara Impulse. Running the Nukara Shield for the 5% energy weapon bonus. And then the Colony Warp Core. So Colony Deflector. Colony Warp Core, Nukara Impulse, Nukara Shield. So obviously I took some damage on that. Um, people were suggesting having <laughs> scar damage so that when you come into the station or something like that, it shows that you were in battle. And you go, <laughs> people were saying, "Yeah, I did that, and I made it out." Anyway, so basically, um, still running the corrosive plasma dual heavy cannons up front, neutronic torpedo, the uh, couple of the corrosive plasma turrets in the back, and then the kinetic cutting beam. Got the experimental voice of the prophets, red matter, delta alliance reinforcements. Got the console trellium D, the domino, the RCS accelerator, damage resistance and the turn rate, the house Martok for quite a few of the settings. Um, science, I have the temporal suite, the console assimilated module, and that um, matches up with the cutting beam. So, what are the details on that? For what's the second set? Let me. See. Um, oh, that's the Omega Weapon Amplifier. Not really sure how that... Uh, what to interpret that as far as the DPS goes. Um, we need somebody else to chime in on that. And then I have four of the Plasma Locator for the Plasma Cannons. And then I have one Locator for the Torpedo. So anyways, that's about it, but uh, take a peek back at the parse. This is using the, um, oh, stop that. Ah, you stupid thing. All right. Basically using the Nexus um, parse, it's just easier for me. So, 36k run, not too bad. Um, I'll post this here in just a bit. So basically, the uh, infected the conduit advanced 36,000 for my T5U bug ship. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.